Okay, I hope you have seen part one of the explanation of this particular chapter called The Adventure written by Jayant Narlikar. Let's move on with the remainder of the story in part two. We'll be doing it in three parts. He found a guest house to stay in and had a frugal meal. What exactly does frugal mean? Something which is very little or, you know, not really spending too much money on buying a meal. Okay, economical. And let set out on a stroll means walk towards the Azad Maidan because in his real mind, in the real life, Professor Gai Tunde is to deliver his 1000 lecture on the Battle of Panipat at Azad Maidan. So you see how the real life is kind of converging into his imagination. In the Maidan, he found a throng. Throng means a crowd moving towards a pandal, Shamian of sorts. So a lecture was to take place, force of habit, force of habit, he was used to doing that, took Professor Gai Thonde towards the Pandal because as we said, he had given 999 lectures so far. So he was someone who was used to public speaking. The lecture was in progress. Someone was speaking, although kept, people kept coming and going, you know, so there was, you know, movement of people, even though someone was at the mic. But Professor Gai Thonde was not looking at the audience. He was staring at the platform as if mesmerized. Mesmerized means almost hypnotized. There was a table and chair, but the latter was unoccupied. The chair was not occupied by anyone. The presidential chair unoccupied, that is nobody's chairing the session. The sight stirred him, you know, it, something happened within him. From within him to the depths, like a piece of iron attracted to the magnet, he swiftly moved towards the chair. The speaker stopped in mid-sentence, too shocked to continue. Okay, but the audience soon found voice because he went and occupied that particular chair. Vacate the chair. This lecture series has no chair person. Away from the platform, mister. The chair is symbolic, don't you know? What nonsense. Who ever heard of a public lecture without a presiding dignitary? Someone who is presiding over the function. Professor Guy Thonde went to the mic and gave went to means express strongly. To his views, ladies and gentlemen, an unchaired lecture is like Shakespeare's Hamlet without the Prince of Denmark. Shakespeare's Hamlet, he's the Prince of Denmark. So, you know, can there be Hamlet without the Prince of Denmark, the main character? So that's what he's saying. But the audience was in no mood to listen. Tell us nothing. We are sick of remarks from the chair or vote of thanks. So they thought the person who is presiding over the function just talks nonsense. He doesn't add value to the proceedings. We only want to listen to the speaker. We abolish the old. So they're all shouting, you know, they're all shouting over each other. But Gangadhar Panth had the experience of speaking at 999 meetings and had faced the Pune audience because he's originally from Pune. At its most hostile, even a rough Pune crowd, he had managed to control and address. Okay. He soon became a target because he kept talking tomatoes, eggs and other objects, but it kept on trying valiantly to correct this sacrilege. Sacrilege means a violation of something which is sacred. Finally, the audience swarm means pura audience stage per agai or usko nikal ke eject kar diya usko. Okay. And in the crowd, Gangadhar Panth was nowhere to be seen. Khatam ho gai kaani. Ab real world mein aate hai. Ab ye pura jo hua hai, usko understand karne ki koshish karenge. Okay. That's all I have to tell Rajendra. All I know is that I was found in the Azad Maidan in the morning. Okay, but I was back in the world I am familiar with. Now, where exactly did I spend those two days when I was absent from here? Rajendra was dumbfounded. Dumbfounded means pretty shocked uh, by the narrative. It took him a while to reply. Professor, before just prior to your collision with the truck, what were you doing? Accident hone se pehle, ab kya kar rahe the? I was thinking of the catastrophe theory and its implications for history. Underline this, this is an important line. Right, I thought so. Rajendra smiled. He got the answer. Don't smile smugly. Smugly means someone who kind of, you know, as if, you know, I know everything kind of a feeling in a very self-satisfied kind of manner. In case you think that it was just my mind playing tricks and my imagination running amok. Amok means uh, going crazy. Um, look at this. And triumphantly, you know, Kaitunde is not pleased by that fellow saying, 
हा आई थॉट सो यू नो एज इफ यू नो मुझे सब मालूम है बल्कि मैं बता नहीं रहा हूं ओके गाय तो उन्होंने प्रोड्यूस इज वाइटल पीस ऑफ एविडेंस ए पेज टॉन आउट ऑफ अ बुक Rajendra read the text on the printed page and his face underwent a change gone was the smile muskurahat chali gayi and in its place came a grave expression he was visibly moved okay gangadhar pant pressed home his advantage gangadhar pant ko pata chal gaya abhi uske paas ek strong point hai so he decided to press it means usko aur reinforce karne ki koshish ki I had inadvertently, by mistake, slipped the barker in my pocket as I left the library. What he had imagined, right? Yad hai. I discovered my error when I was paying for my meal. I had intended to return it the next morning, but it seems that in the melee of Azad Maidan, the book was lost. Only this torn off page remained, and luckily for me, the page contains vital evidence. So, sirf ek page reh gaya hai, aur is page mein bahut hi jada important evidence hai. Rajendra again. read the page it described how vishwas rao narrowly missed the bullet okay one minute it described how vishwas rao narrowly missed the bullet okay and how that even taken as an omen omen means bad sign by the maratha army turned the tide in their favor okay miss kar diya so that kind of motivated them to fight and now look at this he says ye to torn page ki baat ho gayi ab is baat ko dekho and he produced his own copy unke paas khud ek copy thi of bau saab banchi bakar and opened at the relevant page okay the account ran thus and then vishwas rao guided his horse to the melee where the elite troops were fighting and he attacked them and god expressed his displeasure pehle maine kya bataya tha pleasure okay uh, he was hit by the bullet what was the thing exact word one bull get take minute so uh here it says the god expressed his displeasure right so uh, and earlier it said and god was merciful so please remember these two lines professor gaitonde you have given me food for thought food for thought means to kind of think about this carefully until i saw this material evidence i had simply put your experience down to fantasy that is you are just fantasizing about something but facts can be stranger than fantasies jo facts hain these facts are historical facts aur ye fantasy se bhi jyada adbhut hain they are even more strange than fantasies as i am beginning to realize you understand now i am deliberately going very slow for you to understand and digest this that the fact of the story is very different from the fantasy because abhi tak he was thinking that he is just imagining a lot of things but the facts are very different he is showing two different pieces of evidence both of them giving different views on the same battle about the same vishwas rao hai na i will explain to you why facts what are the facts i am dying to know professor gaitonde said so to so the torn page says vishwas rao had missed the bullet right however the book bakar which gaitonde had a copy of said he was hit by the bullet in the same third battle of panipat in january 1761 now the fact is the torn page is actually not from a book but actually the printed notes of professor gaitonde which he had prepared for the 1000th lecture where he was going to speak about the catastrophe effect theory effect on the battle of panipat okay where he imagined the fate of the battle of panipat to be different wo print kiya tha wo unki jeb mein tha and wo notes usme dale the maine bataya tha na note karna and the real bakar obviously had the real truth which is why the difference he was imagining that this was from a torn page but it was his own notes okay so we will stop video number explanation video number 2 out here in the final video we will understand the two theories based on which rajendra deshpande explains why gaitonde experienced what he did okay i hope yahan tak ka samajh mein aa gaya hoga okay tata bye bye